Gemini just dropped their new Gemini canvas, which is an all-in-one platform to write, code, create, and all of that in an interactive space. You can collaborate with Gemini to build reports, blog posts, study guides, visual timelines, and much more. And the best part about Gemini is that it's completely free. You don't have to buy subscriptions or pay a single penny to actually use it. I'm going to be dropping in the link in the description so you can assess it for free. So without further ado, let's dive into it. And my main focus about Gemini is going to be around coding and visualizations because that's where most of the models out there and other platforms mess at. So I'm just going to go ahead and check it out whether its coding capabilities and its visualization capabilities are up to the mark or not. Hi and welcome back to Still Curve. This is Ho Shimriz and we're here at the Gemini web app so you can get access to this app through gemini.google.com slash app and let me zoom in so you can see it more clearly we have canvas right over here so this is one of the new updates and one of the really cool features about gemini now so if you see here in the gemini advanced section you can see that we have gemini 2.0 flash 2.0 flash thinking this one is an experimental reasoning model so you can further explore if you have anything related to reasoning you can go with the deep research feature here it's going to give you an in-depth research report and we have the experimental 2.0 pro but in this video we're going to be strictly talking about canvas and for now we can only use 2.0 flash for the canvas features so let's toggle on the canvas feature by clicking on canvas so i'm just going to start with an interactive particle simulator so let's just go ahead and enter my prompt here so my prompt is something like create an interactive particle simulator so let's just hit enter and check out the results so as soon as you hit enter it's going to give you something like this where it codes it's going to show you the code in real time so as it is quite fast you can see the whole code being generated and then the next step is to get the preview so there you go we can click to add particles move your mouse to influence them so i can click here and it will add a particle here you can see I can add multiple particles. Now I have so many particles and I can move my mouse to actually influence them. This is really cool. I think this is quite amazing. I can add as much particles as I want. So this is something for physics students and this is really fun. I mean, I had this particle accelerator idea for quite a while now, but this turned out quite well. As you can see, I did a pretty good job at that. And I can reload this. So now we have zero particles. So I can just click once one particle is moving and then there you go two particles now so this is quite fun and you can just click on code here and you can go ahead and grab all of this code you can copy it and you can go ahead and show console here so you can actually access console here and view the logs and one more fun part here is that you can select any piece of code and you can ask Gemini what this code is going to be about or what this method is about so I'm just going to go ahead and say what is this method about explain this only interactive feature where you can select any piece of code and ask gemini what's this about is really powerful i mean this makes gemini canvas one of my favorite you have the breakdown right here so you can see it's explaining everything that method does and it's explaining how it's linked to other methods in the code it really bested Claude's artifacts because we cannot actually go ahead and select anything in the artifacts like this and go ahead and ask Claude what is this about so this is really cool about Gemini canvas I must say so that was our first piece of code but I really want to test out with a couple of more examples so let's get started with the second example here so I'm just going to close this so the next example is going to be in a new chart so I'm just going to go ahead and ask it to create a 3d planet generator and don't forget to turn on the canvas option here and why am i testing out these graphic oriented apps this is because most of the models out there are really messy when it comes to graphics and movements and vectors so that's why i want to really test this out and see if it's capable of actually generating accurate and efficient code and as you can see it's quite quite fast it generated around 550 lines of code within a couple of seconds so this is how your planet generator should look like this is quite fun to play with i think and a really fun and cool project we have some rings here and the planet in between and we have this star universe this is really really cool so let's go ahead with our third test here which would be something like creating visualizations of algorithms create a visualization for the bubble sort algorithm so i'm just gonna go ahead and say bubble sort algorithms and let's check out so there you go it started coding it and to be quite honest this is quite fast at coding it just took like five six seconds to code this many lines of code incredible so we have a preview here i can start the sort but i can give it an array size so i'm just gonna go with a really small array so that we can understand the concept so i gave it an array size of five 
and as you can see this is the largest then the smallest it doesn't have a number but more like sorting process so let's actually go ahead and ask it to sort it so this should actually swap these blocks so there you go it's swapping so what it did is it actually created a visualization of how bubble sort worked so it went from the first one went to the next and swapped two different blocks in their accurate positions so now it's actually sorted as you can see i think something really cool to learn from and let's go ahead with our next example here so i wanted to create the infamous tic-tac-toe game create an interactive tic-tac-toe game there you go it's again really fast at generating the code and one more thing that i must remind you here is that this is completely free you don't have to pay a single party to actually use this they're not like anthropic explorer artifacts you can go ahead and use this for free just go ahead to the url that i'm gonna be dropping in in the video description and you can access this amazing model right here so it created this tic-tac-toe game for me i love the animation quite cool now we have the music here as well so i can mute it unmute mute let's go ahead with our tic-tac-toe so this is cross the o okay so there you go the player x wins the game and this animation is again really cool you can see the player win model with a herbert animation here i can click on new game and this should start a new game so player x has one score and player o has only zero score here so it keeps the track of what player has what score this is quite cool i think i'm gonna go ahead and copy this code and save this for later use this is quite interesting project here so with that said let's go ahead with the last test so i'm going to create another game i'm more inclined towards the visualization concepts because that's where most models and most online coding platforms would actually mess at so i want to test that aspect for this gemini canvas so i'm just going to go ahead and say create a chess game for me create an interactive chess game for me so there you go it's generating the code again at light speed quite fast and once everything is generated what you can do is you can just go to the preview mode and you can access your game and you can play it quite cool right so there you go the code is done now we have the preview so i can move my knight right there and then there's a pawn it has some sounded so now current player turn is the player white's turn so a pawn there you go the board is not at that perfect of a position but still this is quite cool i think with only one prompt and this is its first try i can iterate over this and make it more realistic and i can drop this as a web app or deploy this as a game that other people can play for free or i can drop this off at a gaming repo and people can actually use this to be quite honest it did not took me more than 10 minutes to create all these projects that i've shown you and the code was generated within seconds pretty fast and accurate so with that said i will wrap this video up i hope you found this helpful and exciting so go ahead and try this out and do let me know about your experiences in the comments below hit that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring